All right, guys, welcome back to another G Auto Repair YouTube video. And today we're working on this 2017 Nissan Rogue. I, be I believe that's correct. And um, we're experiencing a P0014, P0017 code, which is an exhaust uh, uh, cam correlation, whatnot. I uh, can't remember the actual uh, definition off the top of my head, but... This is a quick video of this case study of, of if you have this issue. Um, many of these Nissans suffered from this problem, so based on my experience, this is the fix. Um, the customer also complained of some rough running, maybe some stalling. She said it shut off on her once or twice on the roadway. Um, so that's the codes that did come back. And I have another video on, on this, but it's on the P0011, I believe, 0012, something like that. It was on an Altima or a Centro, I forgot which car it was. It's, I'll try to link it with these, this same uh, video, but a uh, similar issue. It's just that one was on the intake side, and this is on the exhaust side. So if you come over here, you're going to have three variable valve solenoids. Let me try to get you the best angle possible. So if you're wondering which one is which, I'm going to go ahead and explain that right now. Uh, I have removed the motor mount and all that so I can get to it and jacked up the engine a little bit more. Um, this is the exhaust one right here. It's Obviously it's missing because it's not installed, but it goes right here in this hole. And uh, this is the intake one right here. So you got intake, focus, there you go, intake exhaust intake exhaust and you actually have a third one up here which is also for the intake but this is the intake intermediate lock control valve or something like that i think is what it's called um that one does go bad they're all the same valve i believe if i remember correctly it all uses the same valve um either one of them or multiple of them can fail uh the last video that i shot was with uh this one i believe uh, I don't remember, but it was on the intake side, that's for sure. This one is on the exhaust, and as far as testing is concerned, just like I did in the other video, we're just going to use, this is the new one, this is the old one. We're going to use our trusty power probe here, and we're going to go to the old one first. We're just going to manually get a good close up there. And it gets stuck. That's it. Doesn't move anymore. That's bad. That's not supposed to do that. Okay. It initially moves and then it gets stuck. Or it may not move at all. Either way, it's bad. It needs to, uh, the spool valve inside needs to move freely. So we're going to compare to the new one. You got a good view there. See? That goes in and out freely. That's how it's supposed to be. You should feel a nice positive engagement. Goes forward, comes right back. This one goes forward and it gets stuck there. I've seen them to where some of them don't even go forward. They're just stuck. Or they move very weak. Very weak. It's like doesn't feel quite right. If you feel any of that, replace the valve. So... We're gonna go over here, we're just gonna stick the valve in there. Again, I have to remove all this mumbo jumbo to get to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick it in there without dropping it, of course. It's not in a very pleasant location, that's for sure. There we go. And there it's in. Now we put the little screw, the 10 millimeter screw that goes down here, right down here. Reconnect it, put everything back together, and everything will be well in the world again. So <laughs> I hope this helps out. Again, if you're wondering which one is which, this is your exhaust. Obviously, it's on your exhaust side. This is your intake, it's on the intake side, and this is an intake intermediate. This is up here. There's a shadow there, but you're going to have two for the intake. So intake, intake, intermediate. That's all you have to remember. So depending on what code it gets thrown, it's going to be one of those. 
Um, if you decide to change all three in ones, that's not a bad call. But, you know, make sure that the customer's aware of that because they might not want to pay for all of it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I uh, hope it was helpful. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.